these first couple of videos will be just about you getting set up. We're not going to do an effective or sophisticated step counting. Um, I'm just going to show you how to get the sample data, read and parse it, and do some basic plotting. So let's go ahead and start. You can head on over to bit.ly FHS step counter data, sensor data. Uh, and that takes you to my Google Drive where you'll see a whole bunch of pre-recorded files with sensor data that I took while walking my toddler. You should be able to download all of these at once by clicking the downward arrow and going to download. It will prepare them as a zip file and then you can copy those to some location on your own hard drive and unzip them. You'll want to actually open the downloads folder and find the zip file itself. Don't double click on it. Instead, copy it and paste it in the location you know. For me, I'm going to put that inside my D drive in Java Workspaces data. And so you can paste your zip file there. Um, I use a 7-zip extractor, um, and if you don't have that, well, here, I'll show you what you can do in Windows. So on a Mac, there should be some way to extract this, presumably in a context menu. Um, but you can say extract all, and you can tell it to extract. And there you see that it's created a folder whose name is the same as the file name. Um, you probably want to rename this folder to be something simpler and easier to type. Um, so I'm going to rename it to be uh, step data. Uh, try, and try and avoid using spaces in your folder names. OK, so when we go into it, oh. Uh, Okay, let's, uh, let's reorganize this. So I don't like to have uh, a pointless folder inside of another folder. So you want to cut and paste things until all of your files are just inside whatever the first folder is. So here I've got one called step data, and then there are all my files. So similarly, you wanna have a single folder and then all the files. So do what you need to do in order to make it look that way. On Windows, you can get the full path string by clicking up here, and it should give it to you. Mine is D drive Java Workspaces data. Um, oh, let's go in there first. Slash step data. Um, save this string, write it down somewhere, or remember it, because you'll need it later on to load the data. 